I'm in a village in northern Cyprus called Balapé, and this cafe is sheltered by a tree that Lawrence Durrell, who lived here in the 1950s, christened the Tree of Idleness. The tree is a mulberry, but it's very old and sick now, and the fig that twines up its trunk is a good deal more robust. Down on the coast at Gurney, they sell mulberry ice cream. This one's got a dollop of chestnut on it as well. Really do make very good ice cream here. Back home, I have a hundred-year-old mulberry tree of my own. Each summer it gives us about a hundred pounds of fruit, which we turn into mulberry wine, gin and vodka, mulberry jam and ice cream. The mulberry is prized throughout the far Middle East, as well as in southern Europe, northern Africa and Latin America. And not just as an ingredient in food and drink. In Iran, its wood is used to make the tar, a traditional stringed instrument. In Thailand and Burma, they make paper from its bark. In Mexico, the fibres are softened and woven for clothing. In Azerbaijan, it's used as a medicine to protect against diseases of the liver, gallbladder and heart. In Afghanistan, no family home is complete without its mulberry. And as part of efforts to bring normality back to this war-torn land, tens of thousands of mulberry trees are being distributed. So, quite a tree then.